Spurrier and the South Carolina team elects to kick the ball to Patterson. He'll be in punt returns and kick returns. We're going to find out on this first kickoff. South Carolina back home after consecutive losses at LSU and a disaster at Florida a week ago. And he'll kick it away from him through the end zone, so it comes out to the 25. One of the reasons. Bray, long throw, and it's dropped. It was definitely catchable. Patterson couldn't hang on to it, though. That a young quarterback has gotten a little bit shaken. Second and nine, and Shaw uh, will roll out and throw, and it's complete to Sanders. And Sanders out of bounds at the 42 yard play wide receiver. They put Cunningham in the backfield at tight end at fullback. And Lattimore gets a great block. And Lattimore with the first down. Dragged down in the open field at the 45 yard line of a sack. Third down and five. And Shaw. And Tennessee does a great job again getting to the football. You had Eric Gordon in the corner crashing. Fourth down and fourth down and four. Shaw with time. It's tipped and caught for a first down by Sanders. Got deflected of the season. Tennessee was late getting a 12th defender off, but no penalty marker as Shaw's hit. Gets out of there and gets rid of it complete inside the 30-yard line. Ellington not picked up, and he'll score. Touchdown, South Carolina. Well, for a guy that's had his confidence shaken in Connor Shaw, he's hung in there on this opening drive and made some plays. Found Ellington a 33-yard drive. Third touchdown catch of the season for Ellington. And the point after by Yates. So more be a tough way to make a living on a consistent basis. And Clowney's not in there now as they run it straight ahead. And dragging the defender with him is Marlon Lane. Well, DJ Swearinger here. hanging on. Their safeties and linebackers, Devontae Holloman, to try to cover Zach Rogers in the slot. Clowney has been bothered by a foot and drink. Second and ten Bray. And it's complete inside the 40-yard line. That football great play. Lane finds a running lane inside the 35. Out on Tennessee, the backups, they can play too. Bray to the air again, the quick passing game, and wide open is Rodgers down the sideline. Rodgers was running free, no defender around him, and he constricted. They go with the fullback Bartholomew and two tight ends. Ten play of the drive, and Bray pumps wide open in the end zone. Beautiful pump fake by the quarterback. Zach Rogers got free from the defender. Easy touchdown for Tennessee. Guy in your film study, you thought that he was a guy to keep an eye on. He makes a big play here. Granted, Clowney wasn't in the game on kickoffs. Third down, 13. Shaw in an empty set with time to throw. Wide open in the middle of the field. It's a first down. Rory Anderson. Along. That's what it's been like all year for Tennessee. Big plays have killed him. Lattimore. Cuts it upfield near the 50 before Byron Moore makes the tackle. So about five on the ground for Alabama plays. It's just the personnel and the scheme. Here comes a reverse to Sanders, and he's got nowhere to run. Tennessee read it well. Byron Moore pushed him out, and it's fourth down. We'll see if South Carolina is getting one guy, much less a back to clock him. Here's Brad, third and ten, and in the traffic, it is caught for a first down to Justin Hunter. It's a big play on third down and long. These receivers to win. Third and four. And Bray to the air. Has time, and a strike caught for a first down by Hunter at the 43-yard line. That O-line giving Bray. Through the hands of Hunter. Catchable pass, and again, Bray had time to yet. Seven of their nine rushes have gone for two yards or less. Play action here for Connor Shaw. Flushed out of the pocket. And Shaw nailed and lost the ball. 
And Tennessee's got it. Penalty flag down. Salisbury hacked it out. It's recovered. Personal foul, horse collar tackle on the defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Wow, that's a penalty there. Hunter, he was outside the tackle box there. So that would be a penalty if it is a horse collar. Shaw rolling out and beautiful throw inside the 25 to Ellington. Keeps his feet and pushed out at the 20. Let's go to Reese in the studio. Back there as well. Behind Shaw. Shaw to throw with time. Dumps it off to Cunningham. Muscles his way close to the first down. Carrying defenders to the 10. We'll see where they got one. Shaw diving and appears to have the first down. Some problems with the field goal unit. It would be about a 44-yard attempt if they can't move the ball out of an empty set. Shaw down the middle of the field. Caught. Touchdown. Rory Anderson. Second big play for Rory. Awful so far in this game for Tennessee. That was third and goal at the 26, and they gave up a touchdown. The extra point by Yates. And Connor Shaw. He's made two outstanding plays. Here comes an end around. Patterson. They get it in his hands out in space, and he's dangerous. Stepped out just shy. That's the 45. Gray with a short throw, and that's got no chance. Lane will lose yardage on the play. Victor Hampton on the tackle in Tennessee. <laughs> and check that out from game day earlier today. One of the best pieces this year. Here's Lattimore. Inside run, and he's got the first down. Gain of 11. Brought down by Byron. The 250-pound fullback in front of Lattimore. He'll fake it to him. And Shaw going downfield. And a nice catch by Cunningham. It was wide open again against that Tennessee secondary. From the Tennessee 28, first and 10. Gamecocks leading by a touchdown. Lattimore up the gun. Big hole. He gone. Touchdown, South Carolina. This offense can be explosive. Four plays, 64-yard drive. Tennessee's already given up over 200 yards long. Got there right before the season started, so some of these plays show up on film. He's a junior college transfer. Bray with an on-time throw there to Vincent Dallas. He'll come up a couple of yards short of the first down, so no need to, to panic. Just play your game, continue to execute. But the coaches have said that's been a problem for Bray. A quick pitch here. Lane trying to find a hole, and he's wrapped up short of the first down. Brought down at the 45-yard line by Jeffrey. It was a running back, played some in high school. They bring Patterson in motion. Johnson takes off and has the first down. Well, plus the weight play. Oh, it's third and three for Tennessee. Great a throw, and it's caught for a first down by Vincent Dallas. And Tennessee moving the ball now inside the 40 yard. He's a freshman. Yikes. Richard freshman. Oh, well, actually, double team Clowney there. And Bray going downfield. End zone. Beautiful grab. Touchdown, Rodgers. Brad Rodgers with his second touchdown of the ball game. Third. One wins in man to man coverage in the slot. Pilardi puts it through. A big. And they go with an empty set. Kenny Miles, by the way, is Lattimore's replacement. He started last week. Lattimore was bothered by a hip problem. Shaw going deep, and it is incomplete along the sideline. No penalty flag. It was intended for freshman Shaq Roy. On third down, four of six passing. Three of those have gone for first down. They have to get to the 45. And Clowney lined up over the ball. Bray throws incomplete, trying for Rivera. The pass was high. 
And now South Carolina gets a long career in the National Football League, so hopefully uh, this will work out for Marcus. Shaw on the rollout. Another wide open receiver. It's Ellington. First down. Let's check him with Reese. Shaw will throw on second and ten. And it's caught inside the 30-yard line by Cunningham. He'll come up just short of a first down, but it will be third down. And he... Here's Miles, and he powers forward for the first down. McCullers got him on the ground, but a... it's working for Connor Shaw. Yeah, lately he's had this many attempts for an entire game, not a half. Again with time, and Shaw downfield. It's caught. To the one yard line is Justice Cunningham. It'll be first and goal, South Carolina. Happen today. Third down and goal for South Carolina. Leading by seven, out of timeouts. 18 seconds left in the half. Shaw, gonna walk in. Touchdown. That was easy for Connor Shaw. They're right there at halftime, and they got 300 yards of offense at the half, and now 28 points. 20, 72 yards and an interception against Florida, I should say, and did not play in the second half. He's going to throw here on first and 10. Ellington out in space. First down and more for Ellington as the Tennessee pass defense continues to struggle. They've given up. Shaw on the rollout. And gets positive yardage, bumped out at the 25-yard line by Rod Will. 0 for 2 in that third and short situation. They've been converting the third and longs. The blitz is picked up, and Shaw's going deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage. He overthrew Sanders. Justin Coleman defending. Shaw wants that one back. Well, he had the one-on-one. -on -one. This week's game against Florida. But he's out today with an injury. Third and eight for Tennessee. And wide open is Patterson. First down, Vols. One of those a chance to win. Another third down and long for Tennessee. Gray with time. And going to go deep. Single coverage. Defender falls. It's caught. Vincent Dallas, touchdown, Tennessee. Jimmy Legree was in great shape. He came in in SEC games with more interceptions than touchdowns, but he's played his best conference game of the year. Was that year. And you have the Gator and Spurrier and the Boilermaker in Greasy. There's Shaw on the rollout, and the pass is caught by Sanders out of bounds at the 35. It's a game of about 15. You know, your dad told me he's here. <laughs> Second and nine. Shaw and shotgun midway through the third. In trouble, Shaw trips, but keeps his balance and close to the first down. Stepped out about two yards short. Shaw on second and seven. And another well-thrown ball to A. Sanders. First down catch to the 40-yard. And Shaw taken off again. First down for Shaw to the 29-yard line. And trying to help Tennessee get its first SEC win. After today, the Vols have Troy and then Missouri, Vanderbilt, and Kentucky. So no ranked teams remaining. Shaw going deep. Sanders caught. Touchdown. Third of the day for Connor Shaw. 24-yard strike. South Carolina now over 400 yards total offense. 11-play, 80-yard drive at the extra point by Yates. It's a 14. South Carolina with eight in the box. And they'll run Watson. He's got a running lane. 35. Out near the 40. And the first down to the 42-yard line. His first games, and they don't lose confidence in their offense. The up-tempo worked in the first half. That was juggled by Patterson and then pulled in. And he's still going. Started running backwards, but then turned it upfield and picks up about eight yards. Now in a situation third and short where they have to come off the football. Third and two. Play action. And Bray going deep. The defender falls again, but it's overthrown. Hunter 
can't catch up with it. On the last drive, it was look Let me go back up and get it if, if it is covered. Tennessee going. Fourth down and two. It'll be a pass play. Bray moving around. Throws complete. First down. And it's Pig Howard inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Third and nine. Bray stepping up, throwing, complete. First down, Justin Hunter. Bray hung in there because there was some pressure from the... Getting to the quarterback. Bray to pass on first and 10. Here's Hunter inside the 15. And down to the 12, another first down. You talked about the quarterback and the receivers. Nowardin as the Wildcat quarterback on first down. And Howard, going to throw it. Wide open. Touchdown. Michael Rivera. Great call by the Volunteers to start the fourth quarter, and they're back within a score. Great play call from Jackson. It's wide open. Impressive 10 play, 69 yard drive, 13 yard. Because that defender's going to try to disengage. So second and long, Shaw underneath, and a good catch out of the backfield by Miles, and he got the first down to the 30-yard line. Eight would be the uh, winless teams in the SEC in conference games. Shaw to throw on second and six, and wide open coming in. Inside the 30, being chased by McNeil, the stiff arm. Oh, Cunningham says, get out of the way. First and goal, South Carolina. Here comes pressure, Shaw being chased, and Shaw sacked by Lathers back at the 19-yard line. That's a 12-yard problem all year for the Gamecocks. 36-yard attempt. Try to extend the lead. And the kick is perfect. So South Carolina told Jim Brown at halftime that he thought it was serious. Bray throws complete, and... Hunter able to get the first down out to the 46-yard line. In the game now at running back. See if Tennessee goes back to that up-tempo. Works so well. They fake the end around. Now Bray going downfield. Open man. A diving catch inside the 25. Rivera slides to the 22-yard line on the previous down. Bray to throw it again. On the roll up. Bray going for the end zone. Got him in. It's caught. Touchdown. Zach Rogers, his third of the day. Absolutely not. You say what you want about the previous seasons, but uh, they have not. So third down and a yard. Can Tennessee come up with a stop? Play clock at three. They hand it off, and they get the first down with Miles. And he might have had a touchdown if not for Byron Moore. Tripped him up. Have yet to convert third down and three to seven yards. This is third and four. Shaw backing up, takes the snap to throw, going deep for Sanders. Incomplete. Just off his fingertips. A touch too long. And now it's fourth and four. The down three. Inside five to play. Bray stepping up. Unloading complete. It's Justin Hunter again. The ten worked a lot, frankly, this year. They bring Patterson in motion, and it's Johnson all the way, and trying to spin out of a tackle, he can't. So fourth down, as South Carolina comes up with a big stop on Johnson. And if you're Tennessee, you go for fourth down and a long yard. There's Rodgers at the slot. Bray. Going that way, caught for a first down. Zach Rogers out of bounds at the 35-yard line. First and 10. So they need another 10 to 15 yards to make it a realistic shot for Pilardi. They run the ball in a big hole. Lane inside the 20. Spun down at the 19-yard line by Swearing. Very well blocked by this offensive line. Now they are in field goal range after the play. Minute 15 left. Bray stepping up. Conley forced the fumble. It's loose. There is a penalty flag down on the near sideline, but it was Jadavian Clowney, the All-American pass rusher, who forced the fumble. Shaq Wilson with a recovery. 
Okay. That's illegal good. motion on the offense, that penalty declined. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by South Carolina, first down. And I mean, look at this. They go out of the eye, so they get their fullback, Gilchrist, in. He hadn't played a whole lot. And they are going to throw it. Shaw forced out of the pocket. And he's in trouble. Keeps his balance, but will come up short of the first down. And he stayed in balance. Wow. Or no, he stepped out. They say he stepped out. And left, second and ten. Bray going deep. Jump ball. Intercepted by Victor Hampton. South Carolina takes over. Hunter was the intent. In the SEC, third straight year they've started that way. And South Carolina ends a two-game skid. Give credit to both quarterbacks who came into this game and battled, dealing with confidence issues. I thought both of them played nearly flawless. Tyler Bray, four touchdowns. Connor Shaw, three touchdowns, both over 300 yards. Very well played game on both sides. South Carolina, if Florida loses, still has an outside shot.